What is up, everybody? Welcome back to RacingDudes.com, and welcome back to another one of our previews. Well, it's Fountain of Youth Day Saturday at Gulfstream Park. All the way, race 14 on the card. Very last race of the card there. Race 14 at Gulfstream Park. Of course, a grade two race here. $400,000 the purse for the Fountain of Youth, and of course, for the three-year-olds. All right, well, let's get to it here. This is going to be a lot of fun. This one is, uh, I think, pretty... I don't know if it's wide open, but I think we've got some horses, five, six horses here that are pretty good and, and could really, they're not going to surprise me if they win. On top, I'm going to go kind of the boring pick, but I think it's the right pick. I'm going to go number eight locked on top in this spot. Uh, I just kind of look at this horse and look, the Breeders' Cup Juvenile, yes, Fierceness did not come back to run very well, but we've kind of seen that he's inconsistent hit or miss. But you look at Muth, he came back to win, and you look at Timberlake, he came back to win last week as well. So that was the second and fourth place finishers in that Breeders' Cup Juvenile. The third place finisher is locked, and I thought he was really training well. I was pretty excited to see him in the Sam F. Davis before he spiked a fever and missed the race. But, I, you know, he's kind of he got back to the work tab. I think he's doing pretty decent. I think he'll run well here. So I put number eight locked on top. I think he's the one to beat going into this one. I'm very intrigued with the next two horses, and I debated for a while if you know to try to put a, a different one of these horses on top or, or not, put one of these horses on top instead of locked i should say the number five door knock i cashed on him in the rimson um I, I i had him in that maiden special weight at keeneland i also had him on debut at saratoga and he lost i don't know what to make of him and i've kind of been saying this it's like i i really don't know that rimson stakes is he green? Did Sierra Leone kind of quit and door not come back? Now, it really helps that Sierra Leone came back and won the Risen Star. And that kind of was, okay, here's the confidence you needed. Why don't we go ahead and put door knock on top here? He looks like the real deal. And if you're going to play door knock to win, I'm not going to sit here and talk you off that horse at all. I, I had debated this one for a while into the day. I went up with, I, I ended up on door knock, but you know, what, what are you going to do? Um, I think it's splitting hairs here between door knock and locked end of the day. I, I just, I, I am still on the fence about the talent level of this horse. I think it's pretty large. I just don't know how large. So I went door knock in second. Um, I'm, I'm eight, five is going to be heavily involved in all my bets. Let's put it that way. The number one speakeasy is who I'll put in third. Another horse I'm confused about. And, and I don't know if, I don't think he's as good as that number indicated that he got for his maiden special weight win. However, I still, you go back and watch that race. He ran really well. I think he's a pretty good horse. I also, I don't know how far he really wants to go. That was a, a, a one turn race. So kind of a, I think it was a seven furlong race uh, last time out. I don't know. Maybe that's where he he's going to end up. Maybe that's where he's going to be best, but he beat a heavily hyped horse and he ran really well. And you never thought at any point he was going to lose. So he checked a lot of boxes for me, just looking like he might be a really nice one. But we're going straight from a maiden special weight, uh, one turn to a two turn grade two event here for the Kentucky Derby. It's a lot to ask that horse. And that's the other big problem as well. So I, I considered putting him on top for a while. At the end of the day, I just couldn't do it. But I do like the number one speakeasy here quite a bit. However, He's also cross-entered in an allowance race on Friday. I think this is the spot. I think he will run in the Fountain of Youth, but I'm not sure on that. That's something to keep an eye on. Finally, the number three, Victory Avenue, is who I'm going to put in fourth. This is a maiden. He only has one start. It was against Speakeasy, and he lost, but he ran really well. He got second, beating a length in three quarters. The hype on this horse, and if you don't for if you don't remember, uh, Speakeasy and Victory Avenue both were in the maiden special weight on Pegasus World Cup Day. The hype on Victory Avenue was huge that day. He was bet down to heavy favoritism against some really nice horses, some horses that you know, like like a Pletcher who was eight to one in the race because this horse was taking so much money. So I kind of like that they said, you know what, we're going right here to the Fountain of Youth. You know, we're we we think this highly of the horse. Listen, I I can't back a maiden to win this race, but you watch that replay back. He really ran well. So I, I'm going to give him another shot here. He broke sharp. He got the lead in that last race, and you know, he's kind of got 
kind of got worn down late uh, by Speakeasy. So anyway, I'm going to go Victory Avenue in fourth here, even though he's a maiden. I think he's going to run a pretty nice race in this one. And I've still got confidence, uh, just like it looks like the trainer has confidence this horse can run. So, all right, let's go over it again. Number eight, locked on top for me. Number five, door knock in second. Number one, Speakeasy in third. And the number three, Victory Avenue and fourth, all right, guys, thanks everybody for watching this video. Hit that like button if you like it and subscribe. You really like it. Want to get alerted anytime we do videos like this. And most importantly, good luck if you're betting Gulfstream Park on Saturday. <laughs>